From beaver ponds to wetlands, aquatic environments are home to some of the most ancient species. Coming up for a breath of air, the colorful eastern painted turtle makes itself known to us, a simply gorgeous reptile. Now their species have been around for a very long time, in fact, over 200 million years. Amazingly, they haven't changed very much in that time because they have such an efficient design. Many believe that all dinosaurs have gone extinct 65 million years ago, but I do not agree. Admiring turtles and their wetland habitats gives us a window in time into a prehistoric world where ancient creatures roamed the planet. They've evolved into a wide variety of turtles. From terrapins to sea turtles to tortoises on land, they are an extremely successful species. Pond turtles, like the eastern painted, have adapted for an underwater environment where they can find food throughout the entire pond. Look at the spikes on his claws. They can climb right up a slimy log like this by jabbing those spikes right into the side of the wood. They're often called sun turtles, and you can see why. They look like the sun rising over the log. They are beautiful and ancient, but they're not the largest turtle in the pond. Their cousin has that distinction. Now look, it's a velociraptor. Okay, it's a great blue heron, but it sure looks like one. He seems a little nervous. Come on, Big Daddy, or Granddaddy, or maybe Great, Great, Great Granddaddy. Now I have to tell you, I've been a fan of these prehistoric reptiles all my life. There is nothing like a snapping turtle. And they are 100% a living dinosaur. From tail to shell to the top of their head, they are one armored critter. They can actually live over 40 years in the wild, so they deserve a lot of respect. I've often helped the females across the road when in danger. And this particular one's enormous. As you can see, this is a very prehistoric species that makes their home in the bogs, marshes, and ponds in the northern forest. You are just gorgeous. I have to be very careful with this turtle. They're very dangerous. That beak could take your hand off, given the opportunity. Look at you. Just absolutely breathtaking. It's a beautiful species. Sadly, each year, snapping turtles like this female get hit by cars. I'm wearing gloves, and I've got my hands all the way back on the shell because you really don't want to get bit by these. They have a very, very tough bite. They take your fingers right off. It's a gorgeous turtle, common snapper, fantastic. Each year I get many phone calls. These are from concerned people trying to rescue a turtle. The truth is the best thing you can do is leave them be. I only ever interact with them when there's no other choice. Now many snapping turtles have injuries. Look at the eye on this turtle. You can see that it's actually blind in one eye. And this is common with a lot of the older snapping turtles. This particular turtle was enormous, and I wish I had a tape measure with me because I really wanted to show you how big it was. But soon enough, another snapper in another roadside gave me the opportunity, and this time I had a yardstick. Now this one wasn't quite as big as the older fella I saw earlier, but still pretty large. I mean, look, there's the tip of the tail, across the yardstick now, and from the tail to the nose, if we just look at the top of the stick there, 30 inches long. Now that is one large turtle. It's said that turtles, rather than years, go by the size of their shell. And once they reach a certain size, then they start to breed. Now look at the top of the shell here. 16 inches from top to bottom. That is a very large shell. Even across the side of the carapace, it's still 12 inches wide. That is amazing.
Now this turtle also had an injury, but this time, not to the eyes. It appeared that the tip of the nose had a problem with it. It did seem like it was starting to heal, so I think the turtle's going to be fine. What a beautiful species this is. Just incredible. I can't get over their tail. They look so much like a dinosaur, it's just incredible. And that's what I mean when I say, dinosaurs live. This really is a prehistoric critter that we can find right in our own backyard. Just look at this amazing species. Now it's easy to think that if a species can survive for 200 million years, that they're just invincible, that nothing can touch them. But the truth is, that's not the case. They need our help, especially in the early summer. Please use extreme caution when driving near ponds because the mothers come out to lay their eggs. And a little bit of common sense can go a long way to ensure the future of this living dinosaur. As she makes her way back to her home pond, I can only imagine the beautiful underwater world where she lives. As a diver myself, I've often admired the incredible world underneath the water shimmer. She'll spend the rest of the summer hunting and then hibernate through the winter, living proof that dinosaurs never went extinct and neither should your imagination. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.